we're going to look at what's arguably the most important skill um, you'll want to have in this course and that's evaluating trig functions of any angle and when I say any angle what I mean is angles that are of course multiples of 30, 60, um, 45 degrees uh, those are the only ones we can do without a calculator so you're you know you're gonna have to make some decisions on how you decide to do this there's a couple because different teachers teach it different ways so but I'm gonna show you I'm gonna give you two options for doing these problems and hopefully you'll understand that each option has a, an advantage and a disadvantage so evaluate the following without a calculator the sine of 7 pi over 6 your first line of business I think is to understand where 7 pi over 6 lands in our diagram and one useful way to do it is to convert it to degrees either in your head or on the paper so it's up to you um, whether you think in terms of radians or not but the idea is that 7 pi over 6 is like 7 7 pi's over 6 and pi over 6 is 30 degrees so it's like 7 pi's over 6 which is 7 30 degrees so it's 210 degrees so that's where our, our angle is so let's draw now again I'm gonna this is gonna be option one to do this problem 210 degrees well well that's 180 landing here and to get from 180 to 210 I gotta go an extra 30 degrees now I don't really I don't care so much about how how accurate my picture is but I, I do need to know that, that is 30 degrees that angle right in there the reference angle the angle made with the x-axis that is 30 degrees okay so in option one you simply fill out the sides of our 30 60 90 triangle opposite the 30 is always a 1 but this is a negative distance so that's negative 1 opposite the 60 is a root 3 and opposite uh, and the hypotenuse result is going to be a 2 now again I, I already messed up that's a negative root 3 because it's going backwards that's a negative root 3 so now we can evaluate the sine of 7 pi over 6 by using the definition so uh, our reference angle is 30 degrees sine is opposite over hypotenuse it's negative one half okay there's option one for this problem one thing you should notice is anytime it's a, you know your fraction in radians is reduced and the denominator is a 6 you know your reference angle is always going to be 30 degrees regardless of what quadrant it lands in if it's anything pi over 6 and, and you know these are reduced then uh, in lowest terms then you know your reference angle is going to be 30 degrees that actually helps some people they figure out tricks to do these quickly let me show you option 2 okay it seems like it's the same thing and it kind of is but all I'm changing is the type of 30 60 90 triangle we end up with so again that could that would be a triangle the reference angle would be 30 same idea that's 60 degrees and here we can use a different version of the 30 60 90 triangle instead of making the hypotenuse 2 we're going to make it a 1 so our, our radius is 1 now what that forces us to do is again there's many ways to arrive at this relationship but if you divide this if you divide the two in half you get one so if you divide the negative one in half you get negative a half and if you divide negative root three and a half you get negative root three so maybe you decided to use this version of the 30 60 90 triangle what's the advantage of this version well if you do the sine of 30 degrees in this version you get negative one half over one but since you're always going over 1 for sine and cosine, you don't really even need to worry so much about opposite over hypotenuse. You just have to worry about opposite. In other words, the sine of 
7 pi over 6 is just the y coordinate here, negative 1 half, the y coordinate at that point. So in any case, the, the answer is negative 1 half. You decide what works best for you. Okay, but I'm going to try, I mean, there's advantages and disadvantages to both of these. Um, so uh, I'll bring those up as they, as they come. And let's see, secant of negative pi over 3. Well, pi over 3 is 60 degrees. So I have to rotate negative 60 degrees. So I start here, I go in the negative direction, 60 degrees. And I guess I'll just stick with option 1 for these problems. Opposite the 30 is a 1. Opposite the 60 is a negative root 3 because it's a negative distance. Hypotenuse is 2. Well, secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So I use my reference angle. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse 1 over 2. So secant is 2 over 1, which you can also just write as uh, 2. Tangent of negative 3 pi over 4. Well, that's, let's see, that's the same as negative 3 pi over 4s. And pi over 4 is 45 degrees. So I'm going to do three 45 degree movements, but in the negative direction. So I start here, 45, uh, negative pi over 4, negative 2 pi over 4, negative 3 pi over 4. So I'm right here in the middle. And since pi over 4 is 45 degrees, that reference angle there is 45 degrees. That's 45 degrees. And I'm going to use this version of my 45, 45, 90. Again, don't forget the negatives. So many half points get lost for kids and forget the negatives. And the tangent is opposite over adjacent, which is negative 1 over 1. I'm sorry, negative 1 over negative 1, which is just 1. Notice certain things are, should, there's a lot of things that should be kind of coming together. Like we're in quadrant 3, and tangent is positive, right? That should work out. Um, so you want to like double check yourself in many of those, uh, in many of these problems. And again, I, I really need to, I really should emphasize with this arrow, the angle that was rotated. I don't want to, can kind of get messy, but the, the, the idea is um, we rotated that angle and we rotated uh, this, this angle here. Right? We took the secant of negative 60 degrees. We took the sine of 210 degrees. All right, now this one, cosine of pi. So pi radians is 100 amounts to rotating 180 degrees. So we start here, we rotate 180 degrees, and we land here. And again, the issue is we can't draw a triangle, right? We can't draw a triangle. So, so what do we do? Well, this is where this is where this version, this version of or option two comes in really handy, because like I said, if you make your 30, 60, 90 triangles, in other words, if you always view your hypotenuse as being a one, you should obviously get the same answers, but sine is the y coordinate of the point, and cosine is the the x coordinate, right? If you do the cosine of 30 degrees, you get negative root three two, negative root three over two over one, but that's just negative root three over two. So you can just look at the x-coordinate. That comes in really handy here because if I rotate this amount and I'm going to call my radius 1, then this point here is just negative 1, 0. And my, my cosine is just my x-coordinate. So it's just negative 1. All right, so that's a that's a very useful way to think about 
uh, problems where you have to take the cosine of pi or the cosine of pi over 2 or the cosine of 0 or the cosine of 3 pi over 2, any ones that land in the angles. I typically like to I typically like to label these points and then if you do that you can just note that the cosine of the angle is your x coordinates for any of these for any angle where you land in these particular locations and the cosine and the sine is the y coordinates.